And the Oscar goes to... <laughs> Growing up with four older siblings who were all born in the late 70s or early 80s, I, as a person who was born in 91, watch a lot of the media that my older siblings watched when they were kids. So like a lot of media from the 70s and 80s, I watched, which is why a lot of people are always like, wow, you have such this like older spirit. And I'm like, yeah, because my parents were older when they had me. And I had four older siblings who by the time I was born were all teenagers. And so I have this way of thinking about the world differently than most people my age because I grew up with people who from, were from a very different generation. And so that being said, because I watched a lot of their media, one of the biggest movies I watched growing up that was a staple in my older sibling's life and my older sister's now husband then boyfriend's life when he was growing up, The Goonies. And The Goonies is one of my favorite movies of all time. I can literally quote the movie frontwards, backwards. I can quote that movie. I've seen it so many times. Every single time that me and my older sister would go to visit him and his daughter, who's my age, he would always put on The Goonies. When my older sister and him had my niece and nephew, family nights were Goonie nights. Like, we were going to watch The Goonies on repeat. Like, that is just a classic movie for my family, right? And so because of that, I was in love with the character of Data, right? I loved him not only because he was one of the only people of color in that movie, but also because of who he was as a character. I loved his tricks and his booty traps and everything that he just did in that movie was so instrumental to helping them get out and, you know, get the gold or whatever. And I just love the scene at the end of the movie when they're on the beach and they're explaining to like the reporters and everything about what happened. And um, his dad is there, right? And he's trying to take a picture with the camera, but he has one of those like inventions that they do. And it's so cute because it's just like data and it's just, it's a cute little moment. And so I've loved watching Kiwi Quinn, Kiwi Kwan uh winning all these awards this season i it brings my heart so much joy to watch him winning all of these awards going from being in a 30-year drought of not getting work to winning all of these awards in 2023 and 2022 has been beautiful to see and i'm just so proud of him i'm so proud of everything he's accomplished and i am just ugh. As a nostalgic person, I just, I love it. I love it. Accomplish your dreams, y'all. Accomplish your dreams. It's not too late.